Hi, I'm Ethan Woolley, and I'm here with head men's lacrosse coach Drew McMinn. Drew, uh, you guys fell this weekend 7 to 10 in Bellamine. Uh, can you talk a little bit about team performance? Yeah, I mean, overall, we weren't extremely satisfied, obviously, not only with the result, but, you know, just with the way that the game went. You know, I mean, leading up to the game, we felt pretty prepared in, in all aspects. And, you know, with the, with the result that we ended up having and with just the performance on the field overall, I mean, we just didn't feel like it was really in character with who we were leading up to that day. But you know, we always talk about never letting one day define us. So, you know, now we've already kind of moved forward to the next step and making sure that we're prepared, you know, this week and then beyond. Yeah. And the first goal was scored by John Patrick Keeley, a freshman. He ended up having a hat trick that game. Can you talk about a little bit what he brought to the table? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we always talk about wanting our guys to, you know, be willing to try to make plays. And if mistakes come along with that, then that's something that, you know, we'll obviously learn from. And, you know, JP, although, you know, having some things that didn't go his way throughout the game, I mean, to get three, you know, three different goals in the back of the net, I mean, was huge to start out his career that way. So we were pleased with that, but, you know, obviously looking to clean up some other things, not only within his game, but the rest of the team. So. Okay. And also, Chris Barney, he went 15 for 21 on face loss, an area that you struggled in last season. Can you talk about his presence and how that helped the team? Yeah, Chris was, he was actually injured last year, and Nico Bodwin as a freshman had stepped up into that role last year, and he's still been very competitive this year. Um, Chris ended up getting the go for that day against Bellarmine, and, you know, as you said, going 15 for 21, couldn't have expected more out of his performance. We're certainly satisfied with it, and that's an area of the game that, you know, normally has large dictation, but, you know, didn't end up coming out our way that day, so. And uh, Brian Bone, senior goal ten or goalkeeper, he made his first career start. He had 15 saves, led in 10 goals. Can you talk a little bit of how he performed? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously another very important area. Normally if you win face-offs and your goaltending's, you know, above 60% save percentage, you expect to have a good day. But, you know, outside of those two things, there's obviously some other things that we needed to clean up. But, you know, to have Chris at the face-off X and have Brian perform the way that he did in the cage, you know, I mean, we were certainly pleased. And not only with those two guys, but we have guys that are behind each of them. I mentioned Nico with Chris and, you know, we have two freshmen competing at the face-off X as well. And with Brian, I mean, we have you know, four very capable goalies, and Brian happened to be the guy that we gave the go-to to start the season, and, you know, very impressed with the way that he played that day. Mm -hmm. And finally, you had Detroit this weekend on Sunday. You played them last year. Uh, can you talk about a little bit what you expect from them, maybe like what you had from last year, and maybe what happened last year, and take that into what happens this weekend? Yeah, their, their offensive personnel is very similar to last year, so we don't expect to see too much different on that front. They did lose some defensive personnel in their goaltender from last year, but you know, as most teams at this level, I mean, they're able to kind of reload with the, you know, the personnel that was ready to step up for those guys. So um, there will be same thing, you know, some things on that side of the ball that may be a little bit different, but you know, kind of as we talked about going into the first game of the year, there's only so much you're going to know about teams early on in the season. So you know, especially with the things that we know we have to correct from last week, we're mainly focused on taking care of that stuff moving into this weekend. Okay. Thank you, and good luck this weekend. Thanks.